The birds are cooing. The time is right. I'm T. Kirk Media. I'm your host. This here, right here, Magnificent Soul, PD Boy Pi Repeat. He's going to be recording for me today. Today, we're working on getting this GC back on the road. One step closer, one step at a time. We've got hubs to put in, and we've got axles to put in to prepare for a heart to be transplanted into this thing soon because it's going to be running we got boost season like here today it's beautiful it's definitely great out iats are looking good so with that being said we're going to get jumping right into it and um get to putting all this back together axle roll pin beveled edge non-beveled edge the roll pin's got to come through here in and out of that direction i use a smaller actual punch and I slide the roll pin over it. When I slide the roll pin over it, I slide the punch through. So long as the splines are all lined up on the actual transmission, everything should just tap right in with this ball peen. Not a huge hammer. If you go too big and you're off and you mess something up, it's not a good time. So that's the process I'm gonna be doing under there in this bushwhack mess. So let's get to it. Here's the roll pin, I'm putting it in now. I kind of, we had to shuffle around and get some stuff going, but I've got it on the smaller actual punch here, slid, o slid over it, and I'm just going to tap it right in make sure I'm all lined up. It looks like I'm lined up, so I should just hammer home. The downside here is that we're at an angle and we have a little, little bit of space to work with, but see those taps? Nothing forceful, kind of like a Santa's elf, you know? You can kind of hear when it's done, it's hit all the way home, boom, it's done. Now the only downside is, is that I'm missing the other roll pin. The cool thing is, here, let me grab this, that I found is that the beveled surface right here um, and then the circular surface on the other side is not beveled, is actually matches the transmission. So um, you can see this dog is gonna come on me, but there's a beveled inner right here and that actually the outer, oh, I don't know if I can get to it, but that, that one on this side is not beveled, so you can actually match it to the axle. So there's no tooth going through on the back side on the one, so you don't have to worry about hitting it the wrong way. I think it's still, the, there's a direction, but still, it's easier to match up the axle, and that's all that matters. Easier is always better. All right, limited battery here, but we're gonna try to see if we can get this lined up for you. Go ahead and turn it. Um, he's gonna turn it for whatever reason. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that way. Slowly, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, little, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna just take my axle and try to line it up best I can by eyes. And um, see, I think I got the spline right there. Oh, come on, I can't do this one-handed. Yeah, I can, a little. All right, there. Now, like I was saying before, I don't have a roll pin. This one's hitting, but that one is lined up. I can see through that pretty wholeheartedly looks pretty good to me I'm gonna go ahead and continue with installing the hub onto the control arm but first now that I've got everything lined up I can get from under this car and um, there's a pack of hyenas out there and they're gonna get me so I'm gonna get out
finished that project, I'm glad we ended up finding that roll pin and that everything's together, lined up. Obviously nothing's torqued down to spec, everything's loose. We just want to roll it to the front yard. It's not driving anywhere, no weight on it. Look, that's why I really wanted the axles in there is to protect the fresh wheel bearings so they don't get crumpled under the, at least the chassis weight. So everything's in there, it's tightened down enough just to roll it to the front yard. We got the radiator back in there, just secured. Um, I'm realizing there's more stuff that I can touch on um, in future videos, especially the radiator coolant solution. Like a lot of people struggle with this, but doing these GC swaps, they can't um, come up with a good solution that works well, that's efficient all the way around. So I got that, we'll talk about that at some point. Um, I gotta do power steering lines for sure. So I'm just looking over the car and notating in my mind, like, hey, this needs to be done, this needs to be done, this needs to be done before I get it running. And we'll have her back on the road soon here within the next month and a half is the goal. Uh, Boost season's rolling through. We got future classic car show is what I really what I'm preparing for. I'd like to have the car there. I think it deserves a spot there. So um, with this running and all, it'll be a really good good way to get my channel out there. And that's what I, that's all I really want to do is let's get my stuff out here. So I guess. Thanks for watching another T Kirk special. We got PD Boy on deck. Did I even mention it, PD? GoPro Hero 8. We're going to Best Buy right now. This camera is going to be hopefully no more because I've had so many issues with glitches and stuff. And um, we're going to be rid this Hero 7 Black and get that new one. Get the new additions and features to the camera. Hopefully, they cleaned up a lot of the issues with uh, just like the camera not wanting to turn on and really really buggy it's been really buggy the last few months i almost feel like they do that by design but ah, either way we're going to get a new camera for the channel so hopefully the content will continue to improve and i think that's all i have for this video thanks for watching guys keep keep uh keep keep uh, i guess subscribe for more subscribe for more what do you think pd got anything to say to the viewers yeah pd's got nothing so we'll just 